How are we beautiful? Welcome to the game show where we pick one drugstore shampoo that is the best of all. Except maybe none of them are the best. I'll be testing out Dove Herbal Essence, Pantene, and Tresemme. Things that I've heard of before but have never ventured into. In fact, I've never actually used drugstore shampoo. I have an explanation for this. I grew up in a salon. My dad owned a salon my entire life. Since birth, I had been using professional grade shampoo. So this will be very interesting for you and very interesting for me to figure out if these are actually not as bad as, you know, some hairdressers make them out to be. I'm all for cheap products that work well. Like, that's totally cool. Everybody, you know, needs to be able to afford a nice shampoo, even if you only have $6 to spare. We're gonna figure out if it matters where you get your shampoo, drugstore or salon, and if the price actually matters, or if there is actually some good things out there for a very low price, which I hope there is. Let's get testing. Let's figure figure out which one of these shampoos, if any, I actually recommend using. Let's do it. Let's begin. I'll be going through one shampoo at a time, testing it full on through and figure out what the hell is going on and if it's good or if it's bad. Please give me my first shampoo victim of the day. Dove. That's the wrong way. <laughs> Dove. And the retail price of this is a whopping $5.99. Girl, I have never in my life knew that these things were so cheap. Let's go based off of the look of the bottle real quick. It says 100% recycled bottle. If you're like into recycled things, which I think everybody should be, go for it. This says cruelty free on it, which is great. I much prefer vegan hair care, but you're not really gonna find that in the drugstore. I don't think I could be wrong, but nothing we have today, I don't think is vegan. This is the Daily Moisture Shampoo. Everything we'll be trying today is moisturizing because I feel like a lot of people like that really soft, shiny, glowing, moisturized hair and most people need moisture. This is shampoo for everyday care, nourishing system for smooth hair, resilient to daily damage. This is 12 ounces. Okay, so why don't we just crack this open and smell her? It honestly just smells like generic shampoo to me. It's not a very expensive scent. It just kind of smells like soap. It's very fresh. Can you smell that? Like in like okay. a body wash way fresh? Yeah, like a body wash. What do you I think mean, that smell is though? Like floral. Floral fresh. Floral like fresh, like in Tahiti. <laughs> <laughs> Who the f*** going to Tahiti? <laughs> Moving on. So we're going to touch this now. Definitely feels like shampoo to me. <laughs> it is quite sticky and gummy, which is usually something that happens in moisturizing shampoos because of some of the moisturizing ingredients are quite sticky and thick. Um, it happens in my shampoos. It happens in most people's moisturizing shampoos, which is actually nice because I like a heavier shampoo for moisturizing benefits. And this seems to definitely be heavier. It is very much on my fingers. Very basic ingredient list some sulfates which guys sulfates are not all bad so chill with that fragrance is really high up on the list it is like the fourth ingredient that is a lot of fragrance dimethicone citric acid sodium benzoate oh yeah the ingredient list is just so basic for me it would be like building the base of a shampoo and then not putting any additives to actually make it good for your hair there's nothing that's really going to promote healthy hair growth and a healthy scalp being blunt with you uh no wonder why it's six dollars you know you're really getting the basics of hair care with this. Next thing we're gonna be doing is testing this baby. We'll be testing every single one of these shampoos on a hair strand right before your eyes. And then at the end, once I'm done reviewing all the shampoos I have today, we'll go back and we'll touch all the hair strands once they're all dry and figure out which one actually just feels the best. Let me grab a bowl of water and let's start testing this baby out. That's your cue. I got it. Got it. <laughs> Let's do a little Dunkaroo, now that we got my water here. F yeah, a little ASMR for you. Girl, that's a lot of lather. It feels slimy. Okay, I mean, it feels clean, you know, you know what I mean? The strand has been shampooed. We're gonna let that dry. Let's move on to our next shampoo victim of the day. Up next, we have Herbal Essence. Hello. This retails for $6.29. Cha-ching! That'll break the bank, baby. Woo! So let's talk about the bottle. It's exactly what I would expect. I will say the cap is easy to use and it's functional. The actual product seems to have a nice, beautiful, pearly color. So I like that. Pretty typical front and back label moment. A nice squishy little plastic bottle. 
That's about 12 ounces. This says Rebel in the Lush Aromas. Great. <laughs> More aromas. <laughs> Deep moisture for hair. Hello, hydration. Hair and body wash. Shampooing plus gel du chic. What? It says gel du chic. 0% parabens. We like that. It's cruelty free. Made with 100% renewable energy. Everybody's really into the recycled bottle That's thing, good. which is good. pH balanced and color safe. <laughs> dermatologist tested. What is a dermatologist testing with this? <laughs> Skincare? It says body. So it obviously... Hair and body. You literally read that out loud. Did you not process that in your head? No, I didn't. That? I'm scared. Okay, let's do a smell test. This one just smells like plastic. Smell this. I used to use herbal essence as a kid. I think it might just be the bottle that smells like plastic. It's literally the plastic is in the bottle. <laughs> I really like the color a lot. It is a beautiful pearl color. A lot less thick than the Dove one. It is more runny. You can see it dripping out of my hand right here. And you know, it still feels a little moisturizing. We got another very short ingredient list. Surprise, surprise. We do have coconut extract though and corn. The perfume is a lot lower on the list than the Dove one, I must say. The Dove one, oh, you could tell it was a top ingredient. Also, flower extract. Definitely feels a little more professional quality than Dove with the ingredients. And I appreciate that they, they at least put some thought into the ingredient list and didn't just make another generic shampoo. But coconut, you know, doesn't actually have the best rep for moisturizing properly. It tends to put a film over your hair fibers and on your skin and actually doesn't let moisture in. So don't love the coconut. You'll never see my products with coconut in them. It is a really gorgeous color. Like, like I love colored shampoos. I don't know why, it just adds to the experience, you know? It's very blue though. Like it's almost toning. Great latherability. Mm, it smells so good. Right up those nostrils, right up those old breathing tubes. <laughs> All right, let's rinse this baby off. Wow, that is. We're gonna take her away and we'll review her when we're done. My next guest today is Tresume. Ooh la la. Whoa, I wasn't expecting it to be as heavy for some reason. Now that's because it's 28 milliliters. Uh, oh, 28 ounces. <laughs> milliliters, right? <laughs> this costs $5.49. It's the cheapest one of all. It is doubled the ounces of the last two we just used. Based off look, I actually do like the packaging. This one one looks the most chic to me. Great job, Tresemme, with the labeling. I like the black a lot, and like the metallic me foil um, moment going on in the front. It says, moisture rich, seven times more luxurious with vitamin E. All right, I love vitamin E. Oh, and it has an asterisk versus non-conditioning shampoo. God, I love marketing. It's so fun to read. Theirs is seven times more moisturizing. It smells like sweet tarts. Apparently that's what people like. People just want like this like sweet floral generic scent. It's a lot. Like it'll give you a headache in five seconds. Whoa. Caring for the planet. This bottle is made with at least 25% recycled material. Okay. Well, I mean a little bit less recycled than the other ones I must say. Ooh, I love this little pearlescent color we have going on here. It is not that sticky. It's a little bit thinner than, you know, Dove. Ingredients. Okay. So, Panthenol, AKA is Pro Vitamin B5, which is great for your hair and your skin. They have biotin in here. Fragrance is middle of the list, so not that much fragrance. Besides biotin and panthenol, I really see nothing else that's quite professional quality or anything that's really amping this up and making it really great. I mean, those are very basic things to add, panthenol especially. Not a great ingredient list, just not the worst. Let's dip it in the water. Let's do a little do do do. I'm gonna put that on there. Hmm, interesting. I do have to say it's lathering a little less than the other two, which is totally fine. Using professional shampoo, I mean, it really does not suds up even close to drugstore for some reason. Like there's not as many surfactants in professional shampoo as there is in drugstore from my findings today, but I could be wrong on that. I am rinsing this strand off, feeling fresh. It's feeling moisturized, I will say. And let's put this out to dry and let's move on. My last and final drugstore shampoo of the day. I feel like it, this is gonna be the winner. Oh, you ruined my <laughs> <laughs> intro, Emma. Hand I, the thing to I, me. Okay, yes. Hand it to me. 
Pantene, that's the one. Pantene shampoo retails for $5.99. And it is 20 ounces. This is the second largest. They did a good job at making this look nice for not a lot of money because you can tell that this is just um, screen printed on here. This metallic printing on the front looks great. And it has like a little thing for your shampoo to get caught in. I love this cap. I actually really like this bottle. Daily moisture renewal, 24 hour hydration. I would hope the hydration wouldn't fall out of your hair. Nutrient rich lather, effortless detangling and lasting shine. This one smells more like candy than the Tresemme one does. I just would never want to smell like this. Why would you want to smell like candy all day? One of the most expensive things to put in a shampoo is a nice scent. And you can really tell when you smell something that's different, like say Orbe or like Ex Mondo, you can tell that we put a lot of effort into the scent. It actually has different notes to it. And the scent is different on everybody's head because it mixes with your natural oils. Some brands put a lot of money into that and some brands clearly don't. Another nice pearly color. This one is the thinnest of all and yeah it doesn't feel that sticky so probably doesn't have a ton of moisturizing benefits but it feels normal you really like your sticky texture don't you yeah i love it yeah you do you like it sticky don't you yeah somebody has to i like it anywhere i can get it I oh know. there it is <laughs> <laughs> okay ingredient list fragrance middle of the list totally normal panthenol is the only ingredient that i see that doesn't need to be here but it has been added in generic as hell let's do a little dunkaroo it is lathering Woo! yes it is a lot of lathering i will say it shakes me up every time Let's get them all dried and let's give you the final verdict. Okay, so all the hair strands have been blow dried. We also have this hair strand here. I'll be touching this one and then touching the after because this is a strand of extension that has not been shampooed yet. First hair strand, please, a dove. Perfect. I mean, right off the bat, the scent, you guys. I've been talking about all about scent today, but it smells really bad. I have to say, like, the before one feels softer than after and also, like, looks shinier. But it's very hard to tell. Pretty easy to detangle, and it was pretty, like, slippery and definitely moisturized. I don't hate that. Definitely the ingredient list told me a lot about these. Let's keep going through. This is herbal acids. The scent actually is not there anymore, or my nostrils are burned. Yeah, no, the scent is not really there anymore. So I like that. I, I don't really like scents that linger. If you do, then maybe Herbal Essence isn't for you. This one feels like lighter and softer. It also looks shinier. This is before and this is after shampoo. Looks pretty much the same, but it does feel like it got rid of that little bit of factory greasiness on this one. This one feels definitely like it's been washed and definitely gives a little bit of residue on your hands though. Pretty soft, hydrated feeling and it looks nice. Not mad at this one either. Dress me. Honestly, the hair just smells clean. The scent really did go away. It doesn't really feel like hydrated in my opinion. It doesn't really feel slippery. It doesn't really feel smooth. A little dull, not obsessed. The other two, I think we're better. Better, which is interesting. And lastly, we have Pantene. The scent is still a little bit stronger than the other ones. Besides Dove, Dove is definitely the strongest. And Dove also has the fragrance as like one of the top ingredients. So makes sense. It doesn't really feel too hydrated. It's definitely similar to the Tresemme one where it doesn't exactly feel like it did a lot. It definitely feels clean, but not smoothed out, but decent. Let's go down the list of cheapest to most expensive. And let's see if price matters or, I mean, even if drugstore shampoo is something you should be using or maybe not. Tresemme is by far the cheapest because it is almost double the size of the other ones and it's only $5.49, which is just crazy. Ingredient list kind of blows. The hair didn't really feel that great. You definitely get a lot for what you pay for, so I will say that's good. And if you like pretty packaging, well, I think this one looks really nice. Would I personally recommend to use this? No. I don't think your hair is gonna fall out. I don't think it's gonna ruin your hair. I just really don't think it's gonna be that beneficial. It doesn't mean I hate the whole brand Tresemme or any of these brands I'm about to talk about. It doesn't mean I hate them. It just means that this particular product didn't live up to my standards. Standards. Let's just not use this one. Okay, Pantene comes in second cheapest. It is 20 ounces and it is $5.99. So that is damn cheap. The scent, you guys. That was a deal breaker for me in the beginning. It smells like you put candy in a, in a tube. The ingredient list is just so boring and bland and there's literally nothing good about the ingredient list. Wouldn't recommend. Dove is also $5.99, but you only get 12 ounces. Well, not only. Only. You get 12 ounces, which is a decent amount. This one is 100% recycled, so that is really 
cool. Save the environment, we love that. This one was by far the worst smelling one of all and the scent lingers like crazy. The hair strand felt kind of nice actually, but the scent is just really a deal breaker for me. If you like heavy scents and the basic ingredient list that does really not a lot for your hair besides wash it, this is your girl, not obsessed. Okay, this one herbal essence just so happens to be the most expensive one, $6.29. And I'm also gonna say something right now that might shock you. I don't absolutely hate this. If you're very budget conscious and you want something under you know $10 for shampoo, herbal essence, you kind of like did a few things here. The scent, when it's out of the bottle, it doesn't smell as much like plastic as I said it did. When it's out of the bottle, it smells okay. It made the hair feel nice. They use a recycled bottle. It's pH balanced. It's color safe. It's cruelty free. It's dermatologist tested. And the ingredient list was kind of cute. At least they put a little thought into it. They added coconut oil, things that you don't need to put in as a drugstore brand that they actually put some thought into and a little bit more effort. Herbal Essence, you win today. For drugstore, it's the best. One that we tried today. I know. My parents did something right. That's the one that they used to get us, herbal essence. Well, herbal essence, you win. The other ones, please just maybe put a little more thought into our shampoos that we use and just read the ingredient list. When you see a bunch of things that you have literally no idea the name of and that's all you see, usually the ingredient list is just very poor and they're just trying to clean your hair and strip it of all its natural oils and literally put nothing back into it. And that's the difference between professional hair care and drugstore, I guess. The ingredient lists are very thought about. They're also very trendy and cutting edge, typically with professional hair care. And I know with my stuff, I try to put every little ounce of knowledge about hair into my ingredient list. There is much that you don't know the name of, but there's also a lot of stuff that you will know and you will be familiar with. That is the biggest difference of all. That's how you can tell if a shampoo is cheap or not. And also the scent. But we've talked talked a lot about that today. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already. Hit the like button and the bell icon, that'd be great. Follow my Instagram at Xmodo Hair on Instagram or shop below at Xmodo Hair. Follow me everywhere else, here are all my handles, there you go. And make sure you text me. Yes, this is a real number. Yes, I really get all your texts and yes, I can really text you back and I'll be choosing a few of you to do just that. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Alexandra. So she basically says that she's never had her hair not a shade of brown and she wants to know what she should do. She has pretty fair skin, hazel eyes, and natural hair colors and ashy medium brown. Any suggestions would be amazing. Okay, okay. Okay. She also was wondering if she should do ginger auburn and yes, Alexandra, you should. A beautiful gingery color, a coppery moment, like a little orangey red would be so good on you. And it'll be so easy to do. You can use a demi-permanent color and if you don't like it, it'll come out. That's what you should do. If you've never done anything to your hair before, a little more on the wilder side, then try that first. And if you end up doing it, send me a picture. I would love to see it. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye guys.